Hello and welcome to the first in a set of GTK and NetRadiant tutorials for Mapping with Alien Arena 2009. Now before you get started you're going to need a couple of things. Well first you're going to need a copy of Alien Arena 2009. Second you're going to need a copy of GTK or NetRadiant. They both work pretty much the same but you'll find that NetRadiant is actually being developed uh, at this moment whereas GTK Radiant is now abandonware. The third thing you're going to need, I've just noticed this screenshot's broken because it says 1, 2, 3 and 3. Um, the third thing you're going to need is the Radiant Config Pack for Alien Arena. Now the links are all posted over on the descriptions on the right hand side of the video. So grab what you need from there. And finally, number 3 again, patience and perseverance. Okay, well if you don't know where to get a copy of Alien Arena 2009, take a look over on the right the link is there download a copy and get it installed onto your system somewhere I'm going to assume that you already have a copy of Alien Arena on your machine and you're just looking on how to start mapping in Radiant so now we're going to look at number two a copy of GTK or Net Radiant. well I personally recommend Net Radiant, uh, which this is the website it's dev.aliantrap.org uh, slash wiki slash net radiant and the links over on the right hand side uh, you come down and the second link down it says download net radiant just give that a click and it'll say see this link for downloads so head over there and you can get the latest version dependent on your operating system okay now once you've done that we need the radiant config pack for alien arena well that's over in the right hand side of this uh, video window as well uh, you need to get to this website 3pm productions and over here in the featured downloads you'll see net radiant config pack now because the downloads change quite regularly if you can't see it just simply click show all and that will take you to a big list of downloads just in case you can't actually see it on the front page and the final third option final third thing you're gonna need is patience and perseverance now the reason I say this is don't sort of watch the first tutorial and then the second one and then think right I can go out and start mapping because you're gonna run into so many errors you're gonna run into so many problems and you're not gonna know how to fix them you're gonna start asking people the basic questions on forums or or chat rooms or anything like that you're gonna ask them the basic questions which are all already covered in these videos now as the series will get bigger and bigger at the moment there's 10 episodes when I've recorded this there's going to be more and more advanced stuff uh, going on. Now, if you're very comfortable with a section, you know, if you've done this before, then I say if you want to skip across, you can do. But to be honest, you're best watching it from the beginning anyway and watching all the way through just to give yourself a little refresh on, on mapping, of course, and make sure that we're all on the same page. So my main request to you watching these videos is that you really pay close attention to every single video learn by doing but also watch the videos thoroughly because you know we don't want comments below these videos asking questions that are already answered in the video because all you're gonna get is someone replying with a time code look there it is in the video you should have watched it in the first place so with that out of the way let's go on to the first video thanks for watching 